Well, hello, lovely CIYers. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, do consider to subscribe and join my fabulous crew of designers and fabulous DIYers. Okay, my name is Anna Tabwa, and welcome to the House of Tabwa. I know I'm doing a bit much, but let's get into it. So today, I'm going to be taking you guys along with me to go and find a fabric that I saw over the summer. Let me tell you, girl, guy, I came across this fabric in several other stores. And then I was like, let me take a snapshot of it because I don't know if I'm going to be needing it for the future preference because I don't want to buy fabric and just um, house it. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to become that hoarder again. You remember. You know? So here is my fabric stash. I have bins upon bins of fabric that I have hoarded over the years. So I'm gonna be taking you out with me today so we can go and hunt for this fabric. I don't know if I'm gonna find it, but hopefully I do. But let me show you what kind of fabric I was talking about if you didn't see it in my last video. Let me show you real quick. Okay, we are here. Okay, so let me pull up on my phone because you know, I always have, I have tons of pictures of fabric that I've said, oh, maybe I'll come back for this. And then when I come back for it, boop, it's sold out. <sighs> Honey. Okay. So, um, yes. So this is the fabric that I am interested. I'm going to be looking for. Let me show you. Let me turn this down. Okay. Come on. Focus. Ooh, there we go. Okay. This beautiful Ankara. And when I saw the colors, I was like, oh my gosh, it's going on a slant. So I want to do something that goes on a slant. You know, something that's twisted around that's what a vibe i'm getting from this so i'm praying that i do find this because we're gonna go all out with this one So I'm out here trying to look for this fabric. I don't know if the store is going to have it anymore because I saw it during the summer and I'm not sure if it's still there. So we're going to see if I can locate this. Alright, let me check in here. Okay, so here are some of the Ankara's that this store has. Oh, it was this one but in a different color. Oh, this is the one I want, but it's in a different color. I hope they have the other color here. Oh, that's the one. Oh, gorgeous in this color, but I want the purple one. So let me see if I can find it. All right, guys, I think they have it. Oh, I can't open it. Pull it up, but I just pulled it up. This is the color I've been looking for. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Oh, yes. This is the one. Ooh. Okay, I need this. This is what I need. All right, let me look for the guy. Oh, he's busy back there. All right. I can't wait. Stay tuned. All right. So I made it back. And here is the fabric. I found it. Yes. Look. So this is the one that was talking about that I saw. And I absolutely love the colors. You see how everything is going this way? So I'm thinking that I've designed something that will require the silhouette to just seem like it's going wrapped around like a tornado. Tornado. And then I'm going to also be rhinestoning the fabric as well. So it's really gonna stand out and pop. dress form um, a lot of you have been asking me about why I'm using the half scale the half scale is just for me to work efficiently and be consistent on my designs um, it's the same routine with a formal uh, regular size my size dress form 
all you have to do is just follow my lead and it's just the same method. The only thing is different is that I'm working on a smaller scale, which you're going to have to work on a bigger scale, but your number is going to be bigger than mine's. But I'll try to include some measurements for your preference. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and design the whole entire bodice using my draping tape. Now, once you have everything now draped, it's time to mark.
So I went ahead and draped this part. I opened this up at the bottom here and inserted a piece of fabric so that way I can ease this space. The skirt was looking very tight, so I went to ease it and open that up, but I will, I will reduce the bottom edge of this skirt. Okay, so now I've put everything together. I'm gonna go ahead and place this on the dress form so we can see what it looks like. Okay, now let's pin this bra. All right guys, so we're basically got the dress form on lock right now. Let me just adjust what I see is bad. restriction at this hem right here and I don't like that. I'll take this out. This is the slit. It is giving me I don't like this function. So I decided to go back and pin where I was going to have the slit opening and then place it onto the dress form where I decided to go ahead and cut half of the dress off. So I decided to just swerve this out and cut this off so you can have a one leg situation going on. And then the back will also have this open as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and place it back on the dress form. Okay guys, so here is the final look of the gown and I absolutely love it, okay? So I went ahead and chopped off half of the dress and created this swirl uh, and finish at the front and also the back is also open to create a whole one leg look. I'm gonna stop the video right here Tune in to this week's video where I'm going to be transferring this onto fabric and we're going to be doing the fun stuff, which is rhinestoning. So comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.